Hey everybody, this is Jake, and this is the first video of many that we'll be going over in our technical analysis video series. In this particular video, we're going to try to answer the question, what is the best chart to use for trading? Now, uh, that question is very subjective. Everybody's going to have their own opinion. So at first, what we're going to do is go over every single chart that you can look at on a candlestick type of formation. So what we have here is the hollow candle, which is um, essentially the same as a regular candle here on the right. And what you have here is four different parts to each candle. You have the low of the day, which is the lower wick. You have the open in this particular case, which is the bottom of the candle body. You have the top of the candle body, which is the close in this case. And then you have the high of the day or the high of the period that you're looking at, uh, which is the upper wick. In this case, this is a hollow red candle on September 16th versus a solid green candle on September 16th on SPY, which is just the S&P 500 ETF. Now, what's interesting about this is this is red because you are taking into account the previous candle here. Um, it's red because we closed this close right here was lower than this close right here. So you can see that's why it's red. Now, it's hollow because the close was higher than the open. So you can see here, this is your open down here, and then this is your close up here. So if you're looking at this like an opening a candle, or excuse me, opening a candle, opening a window shade, your close is up here, so it's like you're opening up the shade, you've got the sunlight coming out. Now, the difference between uh, a hollow and a solid candle is, is here, notice that um, we've got this solid, or actually, let's do this particular candle here. Same color, it's red, but in this case, it's solid. So what you can do here is you can say, well, sure, this is lower than this candle, but it's not hollow because your open was up here and your close was down here. So it's like closing the, uh, the, the window and pulling the window shade down. So when you compare that to this particular instance here on the regular candle, this is green because it's not taking into account any part of this candle, not taking into account if it's lower or higher or whatever. In this particular case, it's green because the close was higher than the open. Now, if we look at the Heiken Ashi chart, which looks at more of the open and the close data from the previous period, as well as the open high low close uh, data of the current period, you can see how this is more of a trend type candle where you, you can see there's a lot of green candles in a row, then there's a lot of red, then a lot of green. So this is more or less looking at the overall trend. And what you can see about this particular candle is it's solid red. So we've had a hollow red, we've had a solid green, and now we're looking at a solid red all on the same day, September 16th, all on the same ticker and time frame. So you can see everybody's going to have a different perspective. And in this case, what this particular candle may be showing us is that the trend is starting to maybe reverse. You can see we've got a couple dojis after this, and then you've got a continuation down. Now, the thing about all three of the candles that we just went over, um, these candlestick charts are based on price, open, close, high, low, uh, that type of thing. In this case, our last chart that we'll be going over, this is a volume-based candle. So if we dig into the raindrop, which is the volume-based candle, you'll see something that's very different than the other candles. Um, one, there's two different layers to this candle. So if we go to September 16th here, and we kind of zoom in, you can see here how the candle is derived of a few different things. You've got the same thing as the other candles, the low of the day. You've got the high of the day, which would be your wicks on the regular and hollow candle. And then what you have in between is, and especially this candle, this is blue because you have the left side bar and the right side bar are equal to each other. And what this means is, the volume weighted average price shown by this bar on the left is equal to the volume weighted average price to the right side, the second half of the period. 
Now what you can do here is if you really wanted to dig in, we can first remove the first part of the candle. And you can see that this is the first layer, these bars. To add the second layer is the volume profile for the first and second half of the period. So if you're a volume trader, this may be very useful for you where open and closed prices may not be. So in this case, we can see that the volume profile for a uh, blue raindrop is going to be very similar. You can see that on all of the blue raindrops, this one and this one, the volume is kind of uh, starts at the top and then gets uh, more concentrated towards the middle. Whereas let's say you're looking at a green candlestick, you can see on the left hand side, you've got your volume weighted average price and you can see some of that volume profile is focused here on uh, kind of the lower part of the, the range for the entire day. The range being this part being the low of the day, this part being the high of the day. And you can see for the whole range during the first half of the period, there was no volume here. During the second half of the period, you can see a lot of that volume profile was focused at the top. And that's why our volume weighted average price is higher than the first half. So to get back to our original question, which is what candlestick is better um, you know, it depends on what type of price action you're looking at. If you're looking at volume, if you're just solely looking at if buyers were in control versus the open and the close or sellers. Um, so all of this is going to give you, um, you know, a different perspective. But what you can do here on TrendSpider is easily go to the strategy tester and go to, let's say, a particular candlestick pattern. You go to condition, in this case, candlestick pattern. And if we wanted to backtest a blue raindrop, we could easily have our entry condition be blue raindrop doji. How is this performed after, let's say, 10 candles? And then we can test this on the chart and see how these raindrops perform. So without having, you know, subjectivity there or bias when answering the question, what chart is the best, you can use the backtester and have that um, question answered for you. So in this case, you can see. Anytime a blue raindrop is formed, this is our entry, and we want to test that after 10 candles. And so our exit is this particular um, candle here. And you can see at, over time, over 10 candles, there, this particular move was 1.58% to the upside. So have the data answer these questions for you, whether this is a raindrop, whether this is a regular hollow candle and you're looking for a, let's say, a hammer on the chart. You could easily go and look for whatever you're looking for. This is a doji that I had. Let's say that you want to look for uh, an advanced block or simply six green candles in a row. You can then have the system look for these particular conditions on the chart and highlight them as well as back test them on the chart. So to answer the question, there is no best candlestick chart out there. Each candlestick chart is going to really chart, and depending on what type of trader you are, you can then use that to your advantage, whether that's open close action, high low action, volume weighted average price on the first half of their second half of the period. All of that can really help an individual trader reach their goals, whatever that goal may be. Thank you everybody for watching this video and all the videos in the technical analysis series by TrendSpider. If you have any questions at all, please comment below and make sure to subscribe for future videos ahead.